got aid that can invest in things that can't provide a return but might create conditions for long-term sustainable development. And you've got the World Bank and the other international developments for long-term concessional loans. So where's the place for CDC? And what it is, if it's really good, and I think it's got better and better, is as a bridge to get private sector investment to flow into countries where it's not going at the moment to get better economic growth. And I think that's an, a unique, crucial, very precious role. There are a number of countries which are in real difficult situations, whether they're coming out of conflict, whether their infrastructure is poor, uh, where they just have a whole load of problems. Um, and I think CDC really has to be a crucial partner in trying to get those countries to a place where they can take control of their own destiny. Um, and certainly for the foreseeable future, we're going to need that. Uh, but I also think we should be looking to a situation where CDC will actually be handing things over to local enterprises which can carry them forward and which will be less dependent on funding coming from outside sources. CDC is not only going to be an investor in some of the poorest places in the world, an effective investor, it's also going to be responsible for the employment of tens of thousands of people, uh, thus ensuring they're able to look after their families, and it's going to be a source of taxation into the finance ministries and exchequers of some very poor countries. Mm -hmm.